Hey everyone, Zach here from Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10X, this time on a tablet. In our last video we demoed Windows 10X on a laptop, but many of you were interested in seeing what Windows 10X was like when using it with a finger. So that's what we're doing today. So this is a Surface Pro 6 running the latest available Windows 10X build, and as you can see the UX between the laptop version and the tablet version is identical, and that's by design. There's no specific tablet mode on Windows 10X. What Windows 10X is on a laptop is the same on a tablet. The main difference is how you interact with Windows 10X on a tablet. There's a handful of changes and additions to the Windows 10X OS that makes sense when using a finger. So for example, on a tablet, if I want to access the start menu, instead of having to tap on the specific start button, I can just swipe up anywhere on the bottom bezel to do that same action. So if I'm in an app or doing something else entirely, I can simply swipe up from the bottom always to get access to my launcher. I can swipe up from the corner here to access the quick settings panel. And if I'm in an app or have apps open, I can swipe from the left or right to access task view, which will give me an overview of all of the running apps. If you open a couple more here, say open alarms, you'll see that doing that will reveal all of the running apps and I can close them off here if I want to or I can go ahead and launch some more. In addition to that, many of the animations on 10X are just smoother, and as a result, the operating system feels more fluid. For example, if I were to swipe down and snap these side by side, you'll see that the animations involved in doing that task are much more fluid, and as a result, using 10X on a tablet just feels nicer. I can swipe this back over here, or I can switch to it here. So that's just one example of how Microsoft has made Windows 10X feel a lot more intuitive on a tablet. By improving the animations and making the OS feel more fluid, using it on a tablet just feels a lot nicer as a result. So if we minimize these here, another change Microsoft has made to Windows 10X on tablets is an improved keyboard UI. So if we open up, say, oh, I don't have a note taking app, that's hilarious. Uh, let's open up just Microsoft Edge, why not? So here we are inside Microsoft Edge. If we open up the address bar here, you'll see the on-screen keyboard shows up. And this on-screen keyboard is a huge improvement over the old Windows 10 one. So much so, they're actually bringing this keyboard to Windows 10 later this year. But right now, it's here on Windows 10X, and you'll see that when I'm tapping on things, the animations are just much smoother. And actually, if we turn up the volume here, maybe you'll be able to hear it. There's a number of new sounds when using this this keyboard as well. So if we go to, say, Windows Central.com and type that in there, we'll head to the Windows Central website. But you may have noticed there that all of the animations involved are much smoother. Once again, everything feels more fluid on Windows 10X because Microsoft has actually taken the time to improve the animations when you interact with a UI element. If I click on a key here, the key pushes in instead of just highlighting, which it did on Windows 10 up until recently. Now, of course, Windows 10X also supports pen. So if I tap into any text field with a pen, you'll automatically get a pen field where I can start writing like you would expect. Hello. As you can see, I am not very good at writing with a digital pen. So there you have it. That's a quick look at Windows 10X running on a tablet. Now. This isn't a home run for tablet users. There's still many improvements Microsoft can and should make to Windows 10X to make this feel a lot more at home on tablets, but it's a very good first step. The connected animations and the fluidity of the operating system really make a big difference when using this on a tablet compared to Windows 10. I've always said Windows 10 feels rather static on a tablet, but on 10X, the UX doesn't feel like that. Clicking on things and tapping on things, animations are smooth, they're connected, they make sense, and that's a really big deal for a tablet operating system. And it appears Microsoft finally understands that. I say finally, as you know, they understood this before with Windows 8. Windows 8 was a very fluid, animation-heavy operating system on tablets. And that makes sense when you're using an operating system with your finger, connecting animations are super important. But they seem to have lost that with Windows 10. And Windows 10X is the first sign of them sort of re-engaging with that UX style, connected animations, making op the operating system feel more fluid. But anyway, there you have it. That's a quick look at Windows 10X running on a tablet. Thank you so much for watching and we shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.